Hey guys, welcome back to the day four update. This one I am going to make very quick, I promise. Um, mostly because there's not a whole lot to update on. Again, today was kind of an uneventful day as far as the EDC scene for me went, but um, I do want to highlight uh, just overall build quality in this one. So in yesterday's video, I did um, highlight the... Uh, the bit with the braille spacer there you can see the little bit of space where it's just ground unevenly on that side um, just a couple other things to note um, the overall there's just a couple things that um, you can tell this is a, a on the cheaper side of production um, one of the main things like I said probably the most noticeable is just the blade finish um, just, uh, eh, just not a great stone wash. Um, I, I don't, don't even know what they even did to achieve a finish like that, but, um, that's, uh, not super important, I guess. But again, it just shows the, what they had to do to achieve the cost that they did of the manufacturing this knife. A couple other things that I noticed is on the handle you can see like from the g10 to the liners there are spots where it doesn't quite match up like right there for instance um on the other side i mean that one's pretty right there that, that's pretty bad um little bit right there i mean it's I'm, I'm really not gonna tear into it for that i mean the damn thing is four dollars so um, and the hardware, I said this in the teardown, like the barrel spacers and everything is, is just not high quality stuff. Um, and then also the pocket clip, like, I feel like anytime you have like polished hardware, like a pocket clip and stuff it is just bound to not be great. Um, and again, I mean, you could say that's personal preference, whether you like the polished or not, but, uh, it just it gives the appearance that it's cheap and uh just the pocket clip is cheap i mean it it does a good job but it's cheap um the one thing i will say and i don't know if this is just because maybe this thing is growing on me or what but despite all of that the the action on this is really good for the the price i mean even if this knife sold for like 20 or 20 ish dollars i'm not gonna push it um i would still be like yeah that that about makes sense the blade's not perfectly centered but uh it's not far off like it's a four dollar knife the fact that this thing's not rubbing on the liners is a freaking miracle so it's got that going for it also um, one other thing, as far as action goes, I'm sure if you've ever watched a video on this knife, you probably already know this knife doesn't flip. It's just poor design on the flipper tab. It's not that the knife is not smooth enough to deploy with a flipper. Um, it's just the, the actual flipper tab is just positioned very poorly. Um, the D10 is probably good enough that if it was positioned a little bit better you could push button it because even still with how it's set up right now and if i really really try to push button it and load up on it i mean it kind of it gets out there like that's it's not bad it's just the design is poor um last thing i'll touch on is uh and honestly i don't have a whole lot of other knives that are a lighter g10 oddly enough so i don't know if this is really common but you can see some of the blue coming through like on the upper ridges there um that's just like the dye from my jeans so um i don't know if that's super common just with the lighter g10 colors a lot of the stuff that i have is like black or you know carbon fiber or whatever so uh, i honestly I, I don't know so i'm not going to even really harp on that unless um maybe one of you guys has more experience with the lighter g10s i don't know but uh 
again, just another thing that I had noticed. Um, just since I didn't do a whole lot with it today, I did decide to just take a deeper look into it and really inspect it. And those are just the couple of things that I found. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a little bit more time in the morning. So I'm going to, you know, chop it up and and see what the edge is like on like a day two of a cutting day. So keep your eyes peeled for that tomorrow. Uh, I am going to get out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like the videos. Most of you aren't subscribed. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.